Hi, I'm Brian Hayes. I'm a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotiv. We're an official Salesforce partner and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to the Lightning App Builder. You can get to the App Builder by going to any record page in the system, clicking the setup gear in the upper right-hand corner and clicking the shortcut edit page. You can also get to this builder by going into setup first and searching for the Lightning App Builder there. We're in the builder and we're looking at the page for an opportunity record. Now that we're here, we can actually drag all these different components on the screen around. You can change their order. We can change the layout. We can add additional components. We can move whatever we want to these different columns and rows. I'm gonna put Slack back here, put my shortcut up there. If you don't like this two column layout, where we have a large column on the left and a skinnier one on the right, you can actually change it. So if you're not clicked into any component, you'll see the settings for the page. And that's where you can set the name or the developer name or even change the template. Click the change button and you'll see a pop-up. From here, you can choose that structure of the page. You could do header in three regions, header and right sidebar, that's what we have right now. And you've got a few others to choose from as well. Once you're happy with the main structure, and then we can edit the components. So this tabs area, for example, is a component. And when you click into it, the settings for that component show up on the right-hand side. Here we've got the related tab, the details tab, engagement, and then one called custom label. I'm just gonna hit the X on that, make that go away. And you can change the order of those tabs if you'd like, or add additional ones. If you're missing a tab and you want to add it back, just click add tab. It's gonna to default to the details label, but you don't have to stick with that. If you click on details, you can change the label. There's lots of suggestions here. You can also use a custom label. Choose custom, and then you can write in whatever you'd like here. For example, maybe we wanna have billing information included under this tab. Click done, and we have a new tab. Within that tab, you can add additional components, and we've got all the options over here on the left-hand side. I'm gonna drag over related list single. It's a pretty commonly used component. Once I drag that on to the screen, on the right-hand side, I can change its settings. So from here, I can choose which related list I'd like to see here. And just for example, let's choose campaign influence. There we go. So campaign influence is now gonna show under that tab. Of course, billing doesn't make much sense if we're gonna have campaigns under there. So I'm gonna change the label from billing to marketing. And now that I've got marketing listed under the marketing tab here, maybe I wanna add my engagement dashboard. So instead of having my engagement history dashboard under this engagement tab by itself, I'm gonna put it under the marketing tab. And I'll put it right underneath the campaigns that have influenced this opportunity. If you don't have this engagement history dashboard, don't worry, it's just a feature that comes with Pardot. And at this point, we don't need that engagement tab anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of that. So with this Lightning App Builder, you've got a lot of control and a lot of different ways that you can customize the interface. You can even add screen flows directly to the page to create custom components that your users can interact with. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm gonna hit save and then click back. With that, we've just made our change to the Lightning Record page for this particular uh, opportunity object. And you can see we've got our marketing tab here with campaign influence and engagement history. Now, if you click that save button, and it doesn't automatically save, it gives you a pop-up instead, that pop-up is gonna be for activation. You can also get there by clicking the activation button in the upper right-hand corner. What activation is, is it's just assigning this page. So it's determining when this particular Lightning Record page configuration is gonna show up for a user. The first option is to assign it as an org default, or you can have it be an app default. An app would be like the sales app or the sales console or the service app or you can use app record type and profile to determine when it shows up. If different people in your organization need to see different components on a Lightning Record page. I recommend you, you keep your variations pretty small because it can get difficult to maintain over time. Start with the org default and make your customizations for everybody. And from there, consider having additional variations, but only when needed. Well, I hope that helps as an introduction to the Lightning App Builder. If it did, please hit like and if you want to see more tutorials like this one, please click subscribe. Thanks for watching.